Hi, again, I'm Andrew, and I'm excited to share the development of our concept with all of you. We believe global trade is for everyone, and that's why we're so excited to share our marketing strategy for our enterprise, Gondwana. At Gondwana, we create trust, and we believe that trust is what will drive the new economy in the future. Today, there's an increase in, in customers shopping across borders, as you can see in this graph. And a lot of those countries are in what's traditional, traditionally considered developing countries or sort of the center of the world, whereas out in the quote-unquote periphery, there's not as much cross-border shopping going on. But we know there's a lot of interest, and in the future there will be a lot more trade between these countries. In this graph, you can see shipping, car uh, shipping carriers uh, routes between some of the biggest countries uh, and most developed economies, Germany, the United States, Japan, and China. Those correlate with a lot of the cross-border shopping and trade that goes on. As we zoom in, we see what a lot of, of the major carriers see, which is a web of chaos and confusion. And yet, at Gondwana, we also believe that if you take a step closer, you'll find intricate relationships and networks within developing and emerging markets that can be leveraged to create the logistics systems and micro supply chains of the future. Just also wanted to share with you what Gondwana means. Gondwana is the supercontinent uh, that broke away from Pangaea that included a lot of countries that are now developing and emerging uh, just as it happens. This includes South America, India, the Middle East, and Africa. Of course, we want to unite the whole world and not just these countries. And we believe that now that all the continents are separated, oceans are not as important as the relationships that unite people across them. And so we've really broken our stakeholders, or as we like to call them, our partners, into three segments. First, we'd really like to serve small businesses. These are anyone that has something to buy or sell across borders. Second, we would like to serve uh, logistics providers. That's anyone in the shipping business or that provides package consolidation. Third, our stakeholders are organizations uh, charged with supporting and developing small businesses that can be NGOs, IGOs, uh, or public institutions. Now at each level we've identified specific services that we can provide. Uh, we believe that it's important first to provide networking for the first uh, layer of institutions. What they're looking for is to provide maximum impact, so we're offering them to expand their network coverage. Uh, the second layer down, logistics companies are looking to expand their market share. By creating a global community focused on logistics, we can offer them a larger market. And to our core customers, the small businesses, we hope to increase their trade. We're offering services in terms of learning, um, export and import compliance, uh, community, as well as uh, collective bargaining power to begin to increase their impact with the logistic community. Hello, my name is Mohammed, and I will speak about the process and the place for marketing. First, the process. After uh, Scott to told us about who is our customers, who are our uh, segments that we are targeting, I will speak more about with details about how we are going to target those customers. First, we have the online ads or advertisements. Basically, this is will guarantee uh, for us that we will reach the largest uh, segment of audience for the uh, small businesses and uh, NGOs. The second one is the blogging by. Uh, having it in our website, creating a blog and forum for uh, partners and uh, small businesses who are interested to know more about logistics and how to improve their uh, own uh, supply chain to be more efficient, more uh, cost uh, uh, efficient as well. So, multimedia. Multimedia, uh, through this uh, tool, we will, mark, uh, will target the small businesses and uh, show them how to become more efficient in their logistics and supply chains. So we we'll, we'll make uh, create success stories for people who already started their own uh, businesses and become successful uh, in their supply chain. Uh, those people can share their uh, perspective about the market, how, th how they succeed in their businesses. The other one is like consulting videos shows people how to become more efficient in their local market. For example here, we are uh, uh, we can make video about we are, uh, how to be 
the, how to build the best logistic practices for online business in Mexico, how to serve the, uh, for example, the Mexican uh, uh, market and the neighbor countries in very efficient uh, and cost effective. Then we have the direct relationship with uh, business uh, and the NGOs. Well, this one can be done manually by uh, by searching about the businesses that has a shipping uh, sh shipping uh, choices or sh shipping services, but it's expensive. So we can advise them uh, to use uh, to go to our website, see how we are um, uh, advising others uh, to to become more uh, cost efficient regarding the logistics how, how, how to become more efficient in general uh, in, in their uh, supply chains well the, the places how we can reach those people that we just talked about and how the, the tools that we uh, we mentioned now first the websites for raising equity or debt investment for startups like angellist.com this website usually uh, small businesses targeting uh, target it to to uh, to request some fund for their ideas. The those people um, yeah, the the uh, they are trying to to on the same. Okay. So those people trying to raise their money, but on the same time they're trying to uh, understand how the 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 similar businesses works uh, in, in their market. So we can target those people as well as uh, getting the information from the NGOs that supporting uh, small businesses uh, within like countries or like international organizations. Then we have the website that offers an online store web templates. Usually the small business who are, want to work on the online stores, the first thing they do, they, they will not have their own like the web developers. So they go to other websites uh, and uh, install some te uh, templates for online stores and they use it in their businesses. At, and the, usually in those websites they offer some uh, ads uh, between between uh, between the templates, so we can uh, benefit from that one and uh, uh, advertise about our our website and how how can uh, small businesses benefit from our website so they can uh, reach our website. Company websites that provide cash delivery and service similar to the websites. Usually the small businesses target. The payment uh, solutions comp uh, websites that show them how to make the money transfer between their clients and their bank uh, bank accounts more easier. So uh, more easier. So here we will uh, provide uh, some ads as well to show people uh, to direct people to our websites so they can use it and benefit from it. So that's it. Thank you.